everything. But um, what we're going to get into a lot of the, the biblical reasons for these different things. But one of them is going to be spending some time in prayer on your knees. If you can, if you're able to physically uh, do so. I believe that is an important aspect of prayer that I think that many people don't do. And, and that helps with your humility going before God and, and getting on your face before God when you ask him for things. And when you approach God, uh, that is something that I would I expect to be done. It doesn't have to be every single time that you pray. There's many different times during the day you could pray, but I want you to, to be considering that and taking time out at least during the month of February for this challenge to get on your knees and pray. Um, praying out loud. Also, if you, if you have a family or a spouse or anything like that, if you have uh, you know, someone else that you live with, I'm going to encourage you to spend some time, it doesn't have to be there the whole time, but some time together praying out loud together. It's going to be, it's a great way to bond as a family. It's a great way. One of the things that we've done is, um, especially during these challenges, we'll pray for each other. You want to have a strong family. Well, it's a family that prays for each other and you're thinking about each other continually. You love it. I mean, when, when you're praying for other people, you're doing so because you care about those people. Right? I mean, think about it. If you're, you're, if you're spending time to consider someone else and go to God and, and have a petition to God and, and a supplication for God to help out someone else, that is going to help your love for other people. I mean, that is loving just to be praying for other people. And especially within your family, you, you ought to have a bond of love within your family that everyone cares about one another. And when you hear out loud people praying for each other, that's also going to help you just, just understand and know, hey, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, my, you know, they care about me. They love me. They're praying for me. And these are all things that should be coming from the heart. So I'm going to encourage people to do that as well. Pray as a family, pray out loud. Um, obviously, you don't have to pray out loud in general in order to pray to God. There's lots of, of flexibility in the way that you can communicate with our Lord of, of when, you know, I pray oftentimes just silently in my mind. God knows the thoughts and, you know, of our hearts. God knows uh, what we have need of before we even open our mouths. He knows us, but there's still something to be said for praying out loud, for opening up your mouth. And we see many examples in Scripture that. Now, there's so many things I could preach on in Scripture on prayer. Prayer ought to be a really huge aspect of our life. It really ought to be. We think, given how many times we see examples and stories of people praying and just admonition and that it's just assumed to be part of your life. It ought to be a, a large portion. But what we don't have as with many other things in Scripture, we don't have a set number. You need to pray this much in order to be right with God. God doesn't say that. Just like in many, you know, it doesn't say how many times you have to attend church in order to be right with God. It doesn't say, you know, a lot of other real specific granule details because it's not about just checking off that checklist. And that's not what this, this challenge is about either. This challenge isn't about just checking off this checklist to make sure you're spiritual. The whole point of even putting a time limit on it is just, to, is just for you to, sit, to take a step back and say, am I really even spending time? You know, many people might say, oh yeah, I pray. I spend a lot of time in prayer. And what may seem like a lot of time in prayer for you, when you actually are kind of looking at a clock and saying, well, how much have I prayed today? you might realize you're not really spending as much time as you might think you're spending in prayer. And the whole point of this is to take the time and set it aside and say, I am going to make sure that I pray. 